Oh, guys, let me go. Clever Harry, but not clever enough. Besides, we have a better way. Guys, come on, I'm trying to get to Hogsmeade. We, we know. know. Don't worry, we'll get you there. We have a quicker way, if you pipe down. Blessed. Let me, come on guys. Now, Harry, come, come and join the big boys. boys. What are you doing? Shh. What's this rubbish? <laughs> What's this rubbish? He says, that there is the secret to our success. It's a wrench given it to you, believe me. But we've decided your needs are greater than ours. George, if you will. I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. Mrs. Mooney, Wormtail, Padfoot, and Prongs are proud to present the Marauder's Map. We owe them so much. Hang on. This is Hogwarts. And that... No. Is that really Dumbledore? In his study, pacing, he does that a lot. So you mean this map shows everyone? Everyone. Everyone. Where they are, what they're doing, every minute of every day. Brilliant. Where'd you get it? Nick it from Filch's office, of course. First year. Now listen, there are seven secret passageways out of the castle. We'd recommend this, this one. one. The one eyed witch passage. It'll lead you straight to Honeyduke's cellar. But you best hurry. Filch is headed this way. Oh, and Harry, don't forget it. When you're done, would you give it a tap and say, Mischief managed. Otherwise, Otherwise anyone, anyone can read it. Secrecy Task Force members, welcome back to Cooper's Charms. Today we are talking about the magical mischief event which starts on March 31st and runs until April 1st. So it's just a two day event, but it starts at midnight and ends at midnight on those respective days. So, hmm, let's dive in. And of course this event is going to feature all of the original Marauders in their younger forms. So young James Potter, young Remus Lupin, young Sirius Black, and young Peter Pettigrew. But additionally we also have an unfinished Marauders map for this frame as well. This event is going to have all sorts of magic acting super strange. So let's see what we can figure out about this event. Along with this event we are going to have all sorts of tasks to complete, so a bunch of rewards there, and additionally some guaranteed fragments for these new Marauder foundables. So I think the dynamic of this event is best summarized by this sentence here, which I'm gonna read to you, and then we'll see a little bit later what it exactly means. But it says, as you progress through special assignments, you'll encounter temporary changes to landmarks and the output of tonic for trace detection potions, depending on which part of the assignments you have completed. So if we hop over to task list number one, we'll begin to see what they mean by that. So for task list number one, we are going to be rewarded for with three young James encounters upon completion of these tasks. Now these tasks include using tonic for trace detection one time, return five foundables of any family, and return ten marauders map foundables. Now I think it's important to note that this marauder map foundable is not the one that is in this event. That is the unfinished Marauder's Map, and it's actually referring to the Marauder's Map under the Mysterious Artifacts Traces, which I'm curious to see how they plan on making that super accessible during our self-quarantine phase, because most of this is gonna be done, or gonna be able to be done at home. So I'm curious to see if they're gonna boost those spawns during this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a note about this in a little bit, but we'll get there. But once you have completed that entire task list, you're gonna be rewarded with one trolling XP, one dark detector, and one unfinished Marauder's Map foundable. Additionally, upon completion of this task, you'll notice that tonic for trace detection potions will only spawn the poster for Sirius Black. Hmm. Additionally, all landmark locations are going to be changed to Wonders of the Wizarding World. So you'll notice how those Tonic for Trace Detection Potion and landmark changes will feed into task list number two. Task list number two, we are going to be rewarded with three encounters of the young Sirius Black. The tasks that we'll need to complete in order to encounter him are return 15 Wonders of the Wizarding World foundables, return 10 wanted posters of Sirius Black, and collect two portmanteaus or ingredients off the map. Then we will be rewarded with 199 XP, 24 Legends of Hogwarts Family XP, 
and another unfinished Marauder's Map fragment. Upon completion of that, we will see that Tonic for Trace Detection Potions only spawn the Magic Most Evil book. Can't complain there because that is the only thing I need for this gold frame. And all landmark locations will be changed to dark arts themes. Again, this is going to feed into the next task, which is task list number three, where we are going to encounter three young Peter Pettigrew. Hmm, young Peter Pettigrew, dark arts, seems fitting, right? Return 15 dark arts foundables, return 10 magic most evil foundables, and cast five great spell casts in a row. Once you have completed that, you'll be rewarded with 300 wizarding XP, which seems more normal, I think. 26 Legends of Hogwarts family XP, and another unfinished Marauder's Map fragment. Upon completion of this task list, you'll notice that Tonic for Trace Detection Potions will only be spawning Nymphadora Tonks. Hmm, wonder why. Then all landmark locations are going to be changed to the Ministry of Magic locations. In step number four, we are going to be rewarded with young Remus Lupin. Lupin. Tonks. Interesting. Return 15 Ministry of Magic foundables, return 5 Nymphadora Tonks foundables, and return 15 High Threat foundables. Once you have completed that, you will be rewarded with 3 spell books, 2 silver keys, 50 Legends of Hogwarts family XP, and another unfinished Marauder's Map foundable. Now, I was watching Animagus's video on this to kind of wrap my head around what exactly we could expect for this event, and I got a little hung up on a couple things that he said, and one of which was... Now, there are some weird things that are going on, right? Like this, this whole month in general, and, and just in the state of the world has been a little bit crazy and a little bit chaotic, and I don't expect this event to be any different because it seems that there are some weird magical forces at play here. So if you're having a tough time finding certain foundables, you might want to try to dive into different types of magic in order to get those certain foundables that you may need for the quest steps. Curious, right? What exactly does he mean by that? Well, I asked him and this was his response. Not only did he say that, but he also said this. Now my plan is to have a lot of tonic for trace detection on hand. Um, like I said before, if you find yourself looking for 15 Wizarding World or Wonders of the Wizarding World foundables and you don't know how to, how to get those or you don't know how to get certain foundables because of the magical mischief, who knows what could happen. Uh, so make sure that you're using every ounce of magic at your disposal in order to get those types of foundables, so you never know what might work for you. So not once, but twice. Hmm. I I'm, I'm don't know if I'm reading into this super deep or if Matt really does know something and he's trying to give us a hint on something, but I'm not exactly sure what he means by this. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. The only thing I can think of is just putting on as many potions as possible. I don't know. Like that's the only magic I think we could delve into, different types of magic, because I don't know. What does this even mean? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm reading into it too much or not enough? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. All right, moving on to the bundles. We have the complimentary mischievous merch, which is going to reward you with some ingredients for tonic for trace detection potions, as well as 25 spell energy. Then there is going to be a premium prankster pack where you can purchase it for 420 coins up to five times and receive five potent extemulo potions, one tonic for trace detection potion, and 100 spell energy. So that is available for you there as well. But as far as that goes, that is all we have for this event. I'm super curious how they're going to be able to do, I think specifically the first part of the assignments where we have to return the Marauder's Map foundable because it doesn't specifically say that any sort of tonic for trace detection potion is only going to reveal these Marauder maps. So, so I'm curious to see if that's going to be a boosted spawn or if that's something we are supposed to figure out. I don't know, but it's a super short event, so it can't be too difficult, right? I don't know. Again, maybe I'm reading too much into this, but it is mischievous after all, so who knows? But that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.
बाय